a very important topic with respect to health and safety practitioners mostly they are confused about the code of conduct in this training session i'll cover what is code of conduct what is professional code of conduct what is safety professionals code of conduct and why it is important so let's start with what is code of conduct a code of conduct is a comprehensive set of guidelines and principles designed to outline the expected standards of behavior and ethical practices for individuals within an organization or profession it serves as a formal document that delineates the values responsibilities and ethical obligations of members ensuring that their actions align with the organization's mission and societal expectations by establishing clear norms for professional conduct a code of conduct helps maintain consistency integrity and accountability across all levels of the organization the primary purpose of a code of conduct is to provide a clear framework for ethical decision making and to promote a culture of transparency respect and fairness before going in depth i would like to memorize you that you are on the platform of safety first life if you are visiting for the first time kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for all future notifications and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and colleagues it covers various aspects of professional behavior including compliance with laws and regulations confidentiality conflict of interest management and the continuous pursuit of professional development ultimately a code of conduct is an essential tool for fostering trust enhancing the organization's reputation and ensuring that all members act in a manner that upholds the higher standards of ethical and professional integrity i hope now you are very clear about the term code of conduct here i'll start now the most important point here is number 1 serve with fidelity honesty and impartiality this is the most important point of code of professional conduct the primary purpose is public and stakeholder service commit to serving the public employees employers clients the society and the profession with unwavering fidelity this includes acting in the best interests of these groups and prioritizing their safety and well-being second important aspect is honesty maintain honesty in all professional communications and actions ensure that all information shared is accurate and truthful avoiding any form of deceit or misinformation thirdly impartiality make decisions and take actions based on objective criteria and professional standards without bias or favoritism very very important points and as a safety or any professional you need to uphold and upkeep these important aspects serve the public and stakeholders secondly you need to be honest every part of work and thirdly you need to remain impartial no bias no favoritism the second important point of professional conduct is respect civility and non discrimination you need to show respect for all individuals by valuing their contributions and treating them with dignity listen actively and consider others view points with an open mind secondly you need to maintain a professional approach in all interactions 
communicate politely and constructively even in disagreements or conflicts and number 3 you need to be careful about non discrimination and anti harassment you need to ensure that no individual is discriminated against or harassed based on personal identity including race gender age religion disability or any other characteristic promote an inclusive and equitable workplace respect civility and non discrimination and harassment key points for a professional and these are the part of professional code of conduct point number 3 protecting the reputation of society and profession here you need to avoid harm refrain from any behavior or actions that could unjustly damage the reputation of the society its members or the safety profession as a whole act in ways that uphold and enhance the integrity and credibility of the profession as a safety professional this is the primary purpose that you need to protect workers from harm injuries incidents and accidents and this is also the part of professional conduct point number 4 continuous professional development here always consider lifelong learning you are never the master you are in the learning stage engage in ongoing education and training to enhance professional knowledge skills and competencies stay updated with the latest developments best practices and technological advancements in the field of safety secondly networking and experience a important point participate in professional networks and seek diverse work experiences to broaden understanding and expertise this will help you to boost your career in the shortest possible time if you are a person who is alone who is never mixing or mingling with other professionals maybe you are too late to reach your destination point number 5 qualification and competence before undertaking any professional activity carefully evaluate personal qualifications including education experience and expertise to ensure competence secondly perform only those services for which you are fully qualified and capable seek additional training or expert advice when necessary to ensure competent service delivery point number 6 informed decision making this is the part of code of professional conduct make decisions that comply with all relevant laws regulations and recognized standards of practice ensure that all actions are legally compliant and ethically sound not a decision of an individual i'm saying this and you have to follow this no this is not enough i'm saying this because of this law this regulation this standard this class otherwise myself and you are just the advisors teachers but once we are saying something with reference everyone will follow because it comes from the authorities secondly evidence based decisions your decisions should be on facts as a professional you should not believe on assumptions or rumors your decision should based on accurate up to date information and sound professional judgment otherwise you are also accountable answerable and responsible as a professional and this is also the part of your professional conduct Seventh important point of code of professional conduct is risk communication and management dear friends and fellows 
communicate promptly and effectively with all appropriate parties when professional judgment indicates that there is an unacceptable level of risk. This includes potential risks of injury, illness, property damage or environmental harm. Secondly, recommend and implement measures to mitigate identified risks, prioritizing the safety and health of all affected individuals. What are your roles and responsibilities? Hazard identification, communication in time, professional judgment, evaluate the risk, and secondly, risk mitigation, implement measures to control the risks and to cater it up to an acceptable level. Why you are doing this? Because you are responsible to protect others within your project, staff members and workers from harm, even the public as well. Point number eight, most important point, confidentiality. You need to protect information. Maintain the confidentiality of information acquired through professional practice that is designated or generally recognized as non-public, confidential or privileged. Secondly, only disclose confidential information when legally mandated or with the proper authorization, ensuring that the disclosure is appropriate and ethical. In other words, you should keep the secrets of your organization. You will not make it public unless and until you are legally allowed, authorized or you are being authorized by your company or the management. Point number nine, accurate representation of professional qualifications. You need to be truthful, accurately represent professional qualifications including education, credentials, designations, affiliations, titles, and work experience. Avoid exaggeration or misrepresentation of capabilities or achievements. Mostly, the people they are doing to gain or to grab a higher position, but this is unethical. This is against the code of professional conduct. As a safety practitioner, you need to be truthful. You need to present accurate and genuine information, qualification or designations. For now, that's all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share the video. Hope to see you soon with a new HSC tutorial. Until then, take care. Good luck and goodbye.